Welcome back to our Dragon Ball Z Boo's Fury playthrough. Last we left off, I was playing around his trunks, grinding like crazy, and I made a big mistake. So, in the beginning, when Goku tells, I think he says it to Gohan specific or Goten specifically, go get the Dragon Radar from Bulma. Now, if I remember correctly, in the anime and the manga, Trunks is actually the one that goes and does it, so I switched over from Goten to Trunks to go and get the Dragon Radar. Along the way, I found a door that was level 80, and that door, I thought, said that it had to be opened by Trunks, so we grinded up, went back there, couldn't do it, I was like, what the heck, what's going on? The door doesn't actually tell you if you're playing as the wrong character, I don't think, but uh, it just says Trunks can't open this door, and I'm like, I thought for sure it said Trunks can open the door. Well, it turns out, no, it actually was little Goten that needed to open up needed to open up the door, and I don't know why, but my brain just wasn't working, and I thought it was Trunks the whole time. So, what I did is I swapped over to Goten, and I just grinded up a little bit just to get to uh, a higher level. I th we started off at level 75 when I picked up as him um, a few moments ago prior to recording, and I went ahead and, and grinded up to level 91, um, and that's pretty much all we did. Or all I did, I should say. Now we're back in West City, and I wanted to stop off at the Z Mart because we have tons of stuff from the grinding that we've been doing that I want to sell. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. Uh, rice ball, chicken leg. I think the food, for the most part, I don't want to get rid of, but the clothes I do. We're going to sell the dirty shirts. I don't, I honestly don't know if there's something unique about those things. So I'm just going to get rid of this junk. Keep that. Okay, because I only need one of pretty much everything. Dirty shoes, level requirement 50. It's not really worth a lot. These are worth some. I'm gonna go ahead and sell a bunch of these. Sneakers, uh, these are sneakers for sneaking. Okay. Tenton boots, rhinoceros, or rhinoceros, rhinestone sunglasses. I looked at rhine and all of a sudden my brain just filled in the rest incorrectly. Sell all the masks. Monocle, sell two of those. Snorkel, sell one of those. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and buy now. Let's go to equipment. Uh, I don't know what all this stuff is. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Wool sweater, leather jacket, wooden armor, stone Ayori. A traditional samurai armor carved out of stone. Is that really traditional if it's carved out of stone? Uh, wool mittens, leather, woolen shoes, leather mocks, wooden getta, stone menpo, topaz amulet, red belt, lucky charm. I'm gonna buy this only. Uh, I don't think we can buy the Lazarus crystals here. I don't even know if I have any. We got lots of money, so we're gonna go buy a bunch of Lazarus crystals when we can. And I think I had to do that in uh, Hercule City or something, but whatever. As Goten now, we're gonna go ahead and run on over to Sea Bulma at Capsule Corp, and we're gonna collect the Dragon Balls. Now, I don't know how long it'll take to do them all. I'm gonna try to collect all the Dragon Balls in this one playthrough if I can, this one episode, but I don't know if I will. We'll see. The dragon radar, here you go. Boom, we give you the dragon radar. Uh, I didn't do a voice, that's dumb. Okay, I messed up. Oh well. What I might do is I might just do a super cut because I think we have to fly around and track down on the dragon balls. I might not have you guys watch me fly around and do that just because it's not really that important. We'll do the first one so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But let's go save it down here first and then I'll show you how it works. Okay. I feel so foolish the entire last episode I grinded for no reason with trunks because I couldn't open any of the doors. Now there might be some doors that do require him to open up the door and maybe I read it that way because I didn't actually go back and watch the video. Um, but I do know for sure that uh, the one that we went after before in Diablo Desert was with Goten. Okay, so here's Fukuru Forest. Oh, we can save it here. Okay, sweet. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and go super, and then I'm going to open up this door. Because I don't know exactly what's behind it. We'll find out, though. Alright, little Goten, what do we got in here? No enemies, no challenges? Maybe they're here. Ah, big boss. Or not. Holy crap. Okay, I take it back. I might not be able to do all the plate, all the Dragon Balls in one. Ninja Stronghold. It's a good thing I grinded up past this. Oh boy. Oh, these ninjas are pretty cool. I like the design. Okay, so clearly... Oh, he, they just pop out of nothing. Ninja, I warn you now, turn around and go back. If you enter this place, you will leave in a pine box. Dude, I'm a Super Saiyan, bro. I'm gonna kill literally everyone that comes at me. 
Oh, you stored me? Get out of here. I should be able to outrun your shurikens. Level 92. Three points. Oh, let's grab the money. And let's boost up. Oops, wrong thing. We're gonna go strength. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm a child, get over it. Ninja Stronghold. Samurai? Aren't samurais and ninjas like mortal enemies, or weren't they opposites or something? Sorry, my ancient Japanese Shaolin era uh, history is a little rough. But I thought they were like supposed to be opposites. Oh, come on. Hit me right out of the gate with that. Imagine I had no health and I opened, like, just came out and just got hit with that star instantly and died. I guess I could have blasted it. Not enough time to make that decision, though, as soon as I walked through that doorway, though. Growing levels and stomping these guys. Okay, this this is fairly linear. You know, you don't really have any exploration and things to do. You just go. There's a lot of enemies though. Not too worried about it. Oh. A ring. This. What was in here? Oh. Hercule exhibit. That's pretty sick. I like that noise and the sound effect. So, I, I was also going to say that, um, I think this was, I know I said it during Dr Legacy of Goku 2, that playthrough, and I know I said it during this playthrough at some point, we're talking about Legacy of Goku 4. So I was doing some research on Webfoot, uh, the company that developed this game, along with the other two, and I think like GT Transformation and Daiketsu, like they did a whole bunch of Dragon Ball games for Game Boy Advance. And uh, their Facebook hasn't been very active. But the Facebook page they had was talking about Dragon Ball Z, the legacy of Goku 4. Um, it didn't really show a ton of gameplay, so it's, it wasn't very detailed in terms of what uh, Saga it was going to cover. Granted, it would have obviously been uh, post-Boo, which would have been super. But I was looking at it, and the last post they made was like 2015-2016 era, which is rather unfortunate. Although, I'm kind of glad that uh, Legacy of Goku 4 didn't get made, because they were going for a 3D model that looked really bad. Like, apparently the same sprite artist that made this game was doing the design, but it looked fan-made. It looked god-awful. It looked like I made it. Like, that's that's how bad it was. So I'm really glad they didn't actually end up making the game, because it looked really bad, you guys. I'm not even kidding. It was terrible. I would like to see it in this exact same style, but they were very out of touch with how to do Legacy of Goku 4. I think the problem was is that they were trying to be more modern, but it just looked really lousy. Like big head mode and like or like they had they had big heads and it was all 3D. It was hideous, 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 hideous design. Not good at all. But anyway, it looks like that was probably scrapped or canceled or something because they haven't said anything in five years. Their their Twitter was nothing. Um, their Facebook has nothing. Their website, official website, has barely any reference to Dragon Ball stuff on it, and uh, a lot of really lousy mobile games and stuff on there that just didn't appeal to me. I tried to reach out to them for comment via email, but I got nothing in response. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get a hold of them um, more at some point in the future, because I really want to figure out uh, what the deal is there. They probably can't comment, but I mean, they're pretty open on public... Uh, they are pretty open publicly that they were planning on doing a new Dragon Ball game. So I figured, you know what, if I could reach out to them for comment, maybe I can get some answers. But I don't even know if the company's still in business. The website's up, but I have no idea. They don't really seem active on any social media. So either they're working on something big, they're working on nothing, or something, something, something. I don't know. It just looked like crap. What is this now? The door is locked. Okay, we need to go and figure out. I gotta level up first so I can get max health. That must be the door, or the key to that door, if it's locked. Nope, that wasn't right. There we go, thank goodness. I was like, went real low on the health there, big guy. 12 stat points. The wrong button, I always do that. All right. There we go. 
There sure are a lot of these guys, and I think because the Ninja Stronghold, there might be some sort of puzzle here. Like, I feel like I'm going in sort of a circle. As if maybe... I don't know, I just feel like there's something going on here that I'm missing. there for another level up. Alright, we're gonna go down and then I'm gonna go to the left. My left, not Goten's left. Grinding up tons of levels, though. Actually, I wonder, can I switch characters while I'm in here? So this is a Goten door, but the save pad was there, so I should have been able to. Oh, I gotta look at the map. Alright, let me see. What does it say? Hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to keep going left and see what's up. But, anyway, so it seems like Legacy of Goku 4 is dead. I don't think it's actually gonna happen. I think it's over. That was There was a chance that maybe it could have at some point. It would have been a complete letdown. It would have been awful. If they could maintain this sort of art style, it would have been terrific. But. I don't think that they were going to do that, and it would have been really ugly. I would not have wanted to play it. So we'll just have to settle with Legacy of Goku 3, more or less, as uh, Boost Fury being like that sort of wrap-up. That's really all that we can do. Where is that freaking key? Is there a boss somewhere around here that we can beat up? Ninety-eight, six stat points. All right, where's this at? So the entrance must be way down there. So we're now going this direction. There's a door there. I think it might be in the top. We need to go back all the way up to the top and go all the way to the right, I think. Can I go all the way over? We'll sweep through. I'm just gonna try and level up along the way. What is... Okay, that brings us back to the entrance. Yeah, so much for a Dragon Ball every time. There's going to be challenges like this each and every... This is going to be a lot. Those guys got stomped. It is still fairly linear. We're going in a straight line, but there is something that I'm missing. That door is locked, but I'm not sure exactly what I need to open it. I might not need a key. There might be some other puzzle or trick to get that open, but I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out, but we're just going to have to keep playing until we do. Damn these freaking shuriken throwers. Forget the language. Can I go around this tree? Yeah, I thought I would check. Actually, wait, where am I? Yeah, I need to go up. could be blocking, but I figure I'm gonna end up killing these guys and growing a level and getting my health full, so there's really no, there's really no nerd. Super slow now. From Super Saiyan to super slow. Dang, Goten is freaking ruthless in this, isn't he? Alright, nine, so we'll go... boost up the power in the next the next few levels that we grow up because I need to get that real high. Alright, go 10. We need to figure out what to do in this stronghold. There's a secret we need to figure it out. Hey, I'll take that. Oh, we've got some items that I can also uh, equip now that I'm at this level. Alright. The door is locked. What do I have to do here? Not a Kamehameha. See, you can throw those stars, but it's not going to do anything to me because I'm going to just vaporize them. 
Yes, he already tried this, but. What is all the way to the right? Did we figure that out? Did we go past this? Oh boy. There we go. Level 100. That was really easy. Kamehameha times two. Very nice. What does my map say? So it cuts me off there. All right, let's transform and then go to the right more and then just see. I think this is the only place that we haven't been, right? So there must be a boss. Oh boy. A bunch of these guys. I like his area of effect. His damage it goes, uh... Hits multiple people. That's pretty good. Alright, where are we going? Okay, so we haven't been down here yet. So we are going the right way now. I see you. If I run into a tree. We got just looking around. There's got to be a ninja boss somewhere. This looks like the ninja boss layer. Wait, what is here? Oh, Dragon Mouth Key, the ninja key. Okay, I accidentally hit the A button right on that. That ninja is terrible. He just threw like a ninja star right in the middle of nowhere. That dragon mouth, I just went up to it, accidentally hit the A button, and I probably would have done it eventually. But I hit it, and it gave us a key. Yeah, the area effect is real nice. Dang it. Shuriken throwing little punks. Nice. Leveled up. Six stat points. Look like the final episode of Dragon Ball Z, the GTE. Alright. Let's see what I can equip. First, we'll do this. We'll boost you up. Okay. Inventory equip. Cotton Gee. That must be what it gave me before. 51. Yep. Let's see. Two ton armbands. Ten tons. We'll wear that. So what do I have on me now? Inventory equip. Reflective tunic. Uh, fancy wardrobe. Why not? Two ton boots. Uh, I guess... I have those on now. Hold on. Quartz amulet. Talisman of light. That's good enough. And now, oh, oh yeah, doing 1k damage. We were already we were already able to beat these guys with one hit, but Goten's like a little just a little powerhouse right now. Nope. Oh, I guess I could switch to Trunks, but I'm not gonna do that. Definitely save it for now. Damn, these Dragon Ball missions are like they're gonna be maybe they're not all this complicated though. And not that this was necessarily complicated, but this took a little while. Got the key. Uh, ninja boss. You would think you can just walk in here and take our Dragon Ball? You are sorely mistaken. That's a ninja accent. Nothing else. Ninja boss. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I'm just trying to do different voices. That's all. Dude, do you have any idea how strong I am? You just got smoked. Three stat points. Wait, we just locked him in a box? What ball is that? Two, three, four, five, six? Cool. Six star ball. So what do we do now? Can I like... Oh, I should have destroyed him and took his hat. Anything else? Dang. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, and I still have to fight all these guys. Dude, I just killed your master. Let's go ahead and get out of here real quick. We'll save it to the uh, closer to the exit. Let's see how far are we from that. If we go directly to, the, I guess we have to go same either way. We'll go left. A 
level up on the way as well. Plus all the monies. Yeah, that guy thought for sure that he was going to take me down, but it's like, yeah, I'm a little kid, but I'm a Super Saiyan. I'm also over level 100, so... And I need to be level 80 just to get in here. I will say, the efficiency in leveling up this quickly is stupendous. Call it easy. I call it fun and efficient. I just want to get stronger. They're Super Saiyan, so... Man, that guy gets it off every time, doesn't he? Always strikes me first. Good job, little Goten. Bloody trick chests. Oh, I can't get that coin in. That's weird. Ah, there are guys up there, but whatever. Oh, got you. Why does this ninja just have a cheeseburger randomly? That's not ninja. Just having a cheeseburger, hanging out in the ninja fortress. Straight up Burger King over here. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any other enemies that are going to get in our way. Of yeah, here we go. All right, so we got the six star ball. That's uh, that took a, a pretty decent chunk of time. I have to do that for all the balls, maybe, assuming that they're all going to be about that difficult. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, you learned something or thing or two if you're playing along with me. Otherwise, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow when we continue our playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury right here on the Mark 9 channel, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, every day until it's done. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. It helps the channel out, and I will see you tomorrow when we continue the playthrough. Be safe, be well, take care of yourself, and I'll see you then. Later.